Hi, this is Stu for Mobile Geeks, and today we're going to compare two flagship phones, or at least one flagship phone and one usurper to the throne, I guess you could say. This is the OnePlus One smartphone, and here we're going to compete it with probably what's regarded as the top dog of most smartphone in the smartphone world. This is the Samsung Galaxy S5. Right, so the first thing you'll notice, we put these guys side by side, is that there is a difference in screen size. And of course, which translates into a difference in device size. Now over here, you've got on the Samsung Galaxy S5, you've got a 1080p screen, which is 5.1 inches diagonally across compared to the OnePlus One, which has a 5.5 inch screen, just a little bit bigger. They're also the same resolution. This is also a 1080p screen. But the screen technologies behind them are quite different. This is IPS. LCD, where over here we have a Super AMOLED from Samsung. Now, this this screen has had a lot of uh, acclaim, shall we say, on the, the Galaxy S5, and indeed it does look absolutely fantastic, and it's one of the best screens we've ever seen. Actually, you can see that in terms of brightness, it's outshining the OnePlus. Should we get down to viewing angles? Yeah, I mean, in a head-to-head, -head, I guess maybe Samsung are winning here, but they're both fantastic screens on a little bit different sizes. How does the different size translate into overall weight? Well, this guy is 162 grams, which is a decent bit of uh, a decent bit of kit when it's in your pocket. Over here, we have 145 grams, which is a significant difference for sure when when you're actually uh, carrying it around with you. Certainly, if you're a guy like me and you use your pocket, then you'll you'll definitely notice that. Uh, in terms of thickness, we just put these guys side by side. Over here we have, on the Galaxy S2, we have only 8.1 millimeters. So that's pretty thin. Over here, the thickest part of the OnePlus here in the center is actually 8.9. But it's a slightly, maybe, uh, unfair comparison because the edges do slope down to quite thin edges. So when you're holding the device in the palm of your hand, <clears throat> Excuse me. It doesn't feel like a thick, chunky device, even though it is actually quite a bit thicker than its Samsung buddy. Again, side by side. Yeah, there's not a great deal of difference in there. I wouldn't say the Samsung Galaxy S5 really benefits too much from being uh, slightly thicker. All right. If we talk about the internals of these two, uh, actually, they're running identical processors. They're both running the Snapdragon 801 at 2.5 gigahertz. One significant difference between the two, though, I would say, is this this guy over here, the OnePlus One, has three gigabytes of RAM. We're getting two gigabytes on the Samsung Galaxy S5, and so many of us were actually hoping when Samsung came out with this device that they would uh, make it a three gig device. You know, we're kind of ready for this three, gig, three gigs of RAM world. But they didn't go for it. They stuck with their guns, and they did a two gigabyte version over here. The OnePlus One has gone all out, and the three gigabytes is something that we're certainly happy to see. And as we've seen before, it actually does improve performance a little bit. And it certainly gives you plenty of more uh, space when you have lots and lots of apps open simultaneously, especially quite big apps with a large system memory footprint like games. So I guess, I, I mean, I'm certainly happy to see three gigabytes here. Or the one other difference in terms of, uh, if we're talking memory, let's talk about internal storage. This guy's available with 16 gigabytes and 64. We have the 64 gigabyte version. Samsung are going for 16 or 32. But uh, the great thing about the Samsung is that it does actually support micro SD cards. The OnePlus, strangely, and I can't believe this decision really, the OnePlus isn't going to give you uh, a micro SD slot, which is which is a real shame in, in my opinion. I think they could have snuck one in somewhere, especially because this is a removable back here. Once you get your little... You stab here with your little pin, you get your SIM card slot out, it, you can pop off the back and, well, it's, I mean, OnePlus are offering lots of different style backs, so I think this is something that they've kind of overlooked. I think that, I think Samsung has it right. We need micro SDs. Anyway, but while we're here, let's look, let's look at the design of the back. This is, this is also a very important area. As you can see, they're both using very different finishes. Now, the, I love this finish on the on the OnePlus One. This is what they're calling like a black sandstone. It's, and it does feel like stone. It's, it's, it's kind of grainy. And, and I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel like plastic, even though it clearly is plastic. Over here in the Galaxy S5, you've got a slightly rubber, I don't know how to describe it. This is this kind of faux leather finish, which I think, you know, I, I, I've been critical of it before. I can't find that network connection. Oh, sorry, Please never mind. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've had a pop at this. Uh, I mean, I've taken the mickey out of Sasha on it. He, he loves it. But it does divide opinion. Some people really like this. And, uh, you know, 
it's it's just not my cup of tea. If I have to say which one I prefer, I, I definitely prefer the finish here. And you've got the cool styling too. OnePlus has just got their logo here, and then we have the cyanogen at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know it comes down to personal opinion, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely in favor of the OnePlus. While we're here looking at the back, you can see that we have two cameras. This is also an area where the two devices differ. On the OnePlus, we have a 13 megapixel camera, which is good and, and able and can take fantastic photos, but it isn't quite of the same level, you gotta admit, as the 16 megapixel that we're getting here in the Samsung. They both got dual LEDs, um, <clears throat> and they're both, I guess you could say, they're both capable of great, fantastic photos, but uh, the Samsung is possibly one of the best cameras we've ever seen. It's right up there with Sony and their Z2. Also, this is reflected on the front as well, where you're getting a 5 megapixel here and a 2 megapixel, and the guy says 5, but don't believe the pixels. I would still say that uh, Samsung is slightly ahead there. Um, now, both of these phones support removable batteries, and the backs do come up of both of these, so you can get to those batteries. Um, the OnePlus has a 3,100 milliamp hour battery, whereas the Galaxy, the Galaxy, sorry, the OnePlus over here, has a 3,100 milliamp hour battery, while the Galaxy S5 has a 2. Point, uh, sorry, 2,800 milliamp hour battery. Battery life will probably be pretty similar, I imagine, because we've got a larger screen over here. So even though there's a higher capacity battery, it will be, uh, I think, pretty much even. Other comparisons we can make? Well, the big main point here is to compare these devices in terms of price. Now the Samsung Galaxy S5 really is a flagship phone and it has a flagship price. Now that price is between $650 and $700. Now if you're a Samsung fan and you really like the OS and you like what they've done with it with uh, Android 4.4 and I have to admit they've done a good job. It's not bad. I would just, my, my only real issue with software would be that there's quite a lot of bloatware and a lot of apps maybe that you don't want. But that's Samsung's just trying to give you everything. So this is an everything phone. And it is, it is definitely one of the best phones you will ever use. I guess it comes out of personal preference. It might not be my favorite, but, uh, but it definitely has its fans. But 650 US dollars would be the cheapest price. You may even end up paying 700 if you want the larger, larger 16 gigabyte version. Now this chap, this is a real game changer because the OnePlus One is retailing for 300 US dollars for the 16 gigabyte version. That's half the price of this guy. And no way is this half the phone. Okay, so the, I think the camera's a bit better here maybe. Oops, excuse me. The camera's a little bit better, but apart from that, I think these are two flagship devices. This looks great, it feels great, and it's half the price of this guy. And it also runs uh, quite slick and very kind of, I would say, intensely customizable. UI from Cyanogen. So, I don't know. I quite like Cyanogen. I prefer it to Samsung. Uh, hardware wise, I think the devices are very comparable, but for the price, I'll leave it to you to decide, ladies and gents. But I think Samsung have a big problem on their hands when I'm seeing devices like this from OnePlus. Okay, thanks. This is Stu from Mobile Geeks. Go away. <laughs> uh, if you enjoy this kind of video especially comparison videos of smartphones please subscribe to our channel below and well thanks for joining us bye bye <laughs>